We're going to talk about one of the most common misconceptions in medicine that's regarding the management of diabetic ketostosis. Intravenous fluids, yes, are necessary in the initial management of DK because you have to correct the dehydration and shock. But like in any other case of shock, the most crucial step is going to be turning off the underlying cause, which is the ketostosis in this case. Intravenous insulin is going to be the backbone and the most important treatment in managing a patient with DK because insulin is the only one that's going to turn off the ketosis, shut down the acidosis and close the anion gap. And if you're not going to initiate a sufficient and a timely insulin, you're going to risk your patient stay in the ICU for long and your patient is not going to get any better. Even in modern practice, one of the most important reasons for non-resolution of ketostosis is over-reliance on IV fluids and not initiating insulin in a timely and a sufficient manner.